Hey guys, and welcome to another WoW video. Now this is going to be a special video, something that has never happened to me in my 15 years of playing World of Warcraft. And, uh, and yeah, so basically yesterday I was mount farming and I looted five rare mounts. And I've, I've had nights before where I've looted, you know, two, N not common nights, of course, not rare anyway, because when I say rare, I'm not talking achievement mounts. I'm not talking vendor mounts. I am literally talking like low percentage raider dungeon mounts, uh, or, you know, one of the mounts in the list is a questing one. And another one in the list you can't even obtain in the game. So I, I guess technically that would be the most rare mount. But, um, but yeah, so nonetheless, let's start. I have put the videos in order of how the day started. So this was the afternoon, uh, roughly. Well, I guess there's a, there's a clock right there so you can see the time frame. But it was a late afternoon. And, uh, yeah, by, by this time I'd already ran a lot of alts through Utgard Pinnacle. I had previously done a WoW, or not a WoW, but a Mystic Land video, because it'd been a long time since I'd done a Mystic Land video, so I'm like, yeah, I'll putz around, do some Utgard Pinnacle. And I had literally ended the video, and then the next character I brought in after um, you know, won it. It was captured, of course, because I always record for the Mount Chance, but, you know, usually it's a fail, so it, it kind of makes good content for, like, a, you know, a blab video. So, so that was the start. Blue Proto was a 408 attempt, so that was a really good Mount to loot. I'd been going after it for a while. Um, I had a goal to actually get that one out of the way before Shadowlands rolled around because I started parking all my alts out here. Um, my The way I have been mount collecting over the years is it's just been my druid the entire time. It's It wasn't until three months ago that I'm like, well, I got all these alts. I might as well have them doing something. I'd had tons of alts for years. And I just never used them for mount farming. And I don't know why. I have no idea why I didn't use them for for some attempts. But, uh, but yeah, so they've been parked out here for quite a while now trying for this mount. Uh, basically, it, with the druid... I, I just wasn't as consistent with it because you'd have to like fly out and on the druid since it's the main, you know, I do other things, right? I, I raid, do some mythic pluses, do some PvP, you know, so I don't stay out here. Like, yeah. So that's why I started parking alts out here so that my main one have to do the flight back and forth all the time. So moving on, next up, we have the Experiment 12B. I, I don't know if you guys have seen my Blue Proto video, but at the end of that video, I talk about how I hope I'll get the Experiment 12B mount in very little attempts. And it literally was one attempt for, for this week. It, it, it was not a one attempt when but but for this week it was the first character I brought out so that was fucking awesome that was another high attempt mount run 228 attempts and yeah so that was very cool and then after that was done um I like to play the black market auction house so I was hanging out there noticed that the uh, woolly white rhino was on there. And for those that are unaware of this mount, uh, Woolly White Rhino cannot actually be farmed in World of Warcraft. It is from the trading card game. And yeah, 
So the only place you can get it is either the black market auction house or you go to eBay and you purchase it for real money. Or if someone's selling it on the regular auction house. Because the cool part of the woolly white rhino is it's a BOE mount. So yeah, and that's why I was a little surprised to actually win it because when it's a BOE mount, I'm always so surprised when not more bidders are over there because even if you have that mount, you can sell it on the auction house for any anywhere between one to two mil, you know, and, you know, of course those amounts de are determined by your server. Every server has its value at the auction house, right? But that is typically the going one to two million. And yeah, and I got it for a really good price. I got it for like 578,000. So yeah, I have yet to learn it. It is literally just sitting on my characters because I've been contemplating on tripling my money with it, you know, because I got it for such a good price. But I've been thinking about it lately and I think I'm just going to learn it because I, I feel like I really lucked out getting that mount for half a million. I don't know if that'll ever happen again. And yeah, a part of me is just like, just telling me to learn it. And when I do, I will do a video of that for you guys. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, it's it's still a BOE mount, you know? <laughs> yeah. So at that point, I was just kind of putzing around. And then it was like, I don't know, I was watching a movie pretty late, probably... I don't know, maybe two in the morning or something. I decided to go out to Storm Peaks because out in Storm Peaks, there's a daily area that you can do, you know, one quest per day. And when you complete that quest, you'll get like a bag. And in that bag, you could potentially get the white polar bear. And I had done that 11 times, 11 times, and I got the polar bear that night. And I couldn't believe it because 11 times isn't even that much. And then I was kind of feeling a little more, <laughs> you know? So I decided that since my main was already had a hearth over at Stranglethorn Vale because I'm currently still trying to win the Stranglethorn fishing tourney, so I always keep the hearth over there now. It used to be set to the shrine prior to that. And, um, and yeah, so I figured, well, since I have kind of quick access to Stranglethorn, I'll go try for the panther and raptor mount that's in Zulgarub. And just going to say, so there's no confusion here, but this is not my main. I did not get it on the main character. Uh, I ended up bringing alts here afterwards uh, because I had noticed how little attempts I actually have on both of the mounts. So I figured, well, you know, I might as well get my attempts in. And... Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe I looted it when I did because I don't even have that many attempts. It's still at a really low chance and yeah, I couldn't believe it. So, so yeah, that was, that was very cool. Got, got that mount. I don't know why I haven't had that panther mount. Like when, when you look at it, like, you know, it's an old school mount. I, I don't know why all these years I haven't had that mount considering I've been playing since vanilla but um but yeah it's just a place that you know I don't go to very often and that basically concludes our night of looting mounts so I I couldn't believe it guys it was it was just truly amazing 
how how lucky I was. You know, I've, a part of me thinks I should have bought a lottery ticket last night because, yeah, the the luck was definitely there. Okay, so that calls it for this video, guys. Happy mount farming. I hope you get all the mounts that you want in a reasonable time frame. And we'll see you in the next one. And there's also prior to doing this, you know, crazy mount day, um, I actually purchased a mount uh, a week ago and I will be putting that on the YouTube channel uh, this coming up week. So, so definitely check that out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.